Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer. We're now moving on to a flat bench dumbbell press. Now, I like to teach an incline or a fly before I get to a flat. And the reason for that is that when we get into a flat bench press with dumbbells or a barbell, it's just is more challenging for the average person to get the shoulder girdle back. And since it's one of the most common mistakes that people make when trying to do a chest press, I prefer an incline to start as far as from a teaching perspective. But you're here now, this is what we're here to learn. So let me teach you all the cues here. Just like any other chest press exercise, we wanna talk about our four points of contact first. Our feet are on the ground, our butt are on the bench, our upper back is on the bench, and our neck is on the bench. And big mistake I see a lot of people do is to lift their legs up off the ground or put it up on the bench. A lot of your strength will actually come from your legs. I know that sounds crazy because we're doing an upper body movement, but you get a lot of power and strength from your leg drive. So you want your feet firmly planted on the ground. When you lie back down into the position, you go through those four points of contact, the feet underneath my knees, my butt and hips are on the bench. I have a natural arch in the low back, my upper back on the bench, my head on the bench. And then what I wanna do from this position, so before I have grab a hold of these dumbbells, I wanna pull my shoulder blade all the way back. Now, when I pull my shoulder blades back, so I'm squeezing my back together, it creates more of an arch. Some people think this is an excessive arch, it's not, and everybody's arch is gonna be a little bit different because some of us have a natural curve in our, our lower back in comparison to others. So as long as your butt is on the bench, your upper back is on the bench, you're pulling those shoulder blades back, it's totally fine for you to have a natural arch in this low back. In fact, it's encouraged for you to have that because what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I keep these shoulders peeled back while I press. Most common mistake that you will see is as people press, their back flattens and their shoulders roll forward. We wanna avoid that by constantly thinking about keeping the back squeezed together even as I press forward. So even as I press forward, notice I don't lose that low back arch and I keep my shoulders peeled back even though that I'm pressing up. I'm gonna pick the dumbbells up. When I pick the dumbbells up, I like to rest my forearm onto one thigh, I lean over, pick the dumbbell up, set it up on the opposite thigh, same thing, lean over, pick the dumbbell up. And then when I get back into the dumbbell press position, I'm gonna kick it up, kick it up, and then drop down into that position. Now here's where I'm going to pull the shoulder blades back, feet are firmly planted on the ground, and then I press straight up. Now when I press up, again, I'm constantly thinking about those shoulders being peeled back because the common mistake is to let them roll forward. I also don't wanna lock the joints out. I don't wanna lock out and put all the stress on my elbow. I wanna keep just a slight bend on there. I'm trying to keep tension on the chest, drop right down by my side. The elbows, common mistakes you see are flaring way up. You flare way up, you'll start to feel this in your shoulders. It won't feel comfortable. Or dipping your elbows way in. This is not wrong, it's just more of a tricep exercise if you have your elbows tight. So where you want it is nice and comfortable. I drop down, there should be just a slight elbow flare. I don't want my dumbbells dipping way out. I don't want my dumbbells really close in. I want them to come down right about 90 degrees. So I should have a nice 90 degree bend in my elbow. I press all the way up keep that slight bend, slowly come back down. Now your tempo, how fast we should do this, we want it to come down about three to four seconds, nice and controlled, slight pause at the bottom, brace the core, abs tight, press up. When I come down, I'm breathing in. As I press up, the abs are tight and I breathe out. So breathe in as you come down, brace the core, abs tight, drive through the legs, press up. Nice and slow and controlled. Right down. Now, as far as how deep you go, now I could go really, really deep, but if you start to feel this in your guys' shoulders, you know you're going too deep. So I wanna go deep enough that I feel a good stretch on my chest, but not so deep that I start to feel stress in my shoulders. And that's gonna be different for every person. So there's no right or wrong how deep you go. You wanna take the dumbbells all the way down through full range of motion comfortably if it doesn't hurt your shoulders. Now, if you start to come down, and you get below 90 degrees and you feel the stress in the shoulders and you no longer feel it in your chest, that means you've gone too far. Ideally, we're looking to get down to at least 90 degrees. When I'm at 90 degrees, you can see that the dumbbells are still about three inches above my chest, but I have good mobility in my shoulders. I can actually bring my dumbbells all the way down to my chest and then press up.
Listen, if you guys liked that video, it helped you out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share the video. If you have any questions regarding the video, just leave in the comments below. We'll be coming back periodically and answering your guys' comments. Also, if you guys want more information regarding on how to build a chest, we actually have a free guide that we created for you. Just click the link below.